Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the extensions for your trolling motor wires coming directly off of your trolling motor. Well, what I've done is I've relocated where I had the actual plug-in at. I moved the plug-in closer to the side. By doing it closer to the side, my battery cables coming off of my trolling motor itself were just a little bit short. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to make a great splice connection and it's a very watertight connection and it's a very strong connection. You don't have to worry about it pulling apart or worry about it getting weak. All right, stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, what I'm gonna show you in this video is a situation that happens a lot with people, but the reason why I'm having to do this is because I'm moving the plug that goes to my Minn Kota trolling motor. This is a Minn Kota 55 pound thrust uh, trolling motor, and I need to extend the cord out. Now let's say I'm extending my cord, but let's say you had one where the cord just went bad or you had a bad spot in it and you need to cut the bad spot out, or if you're just replacing the plug on it and it made it too short so you had to splice another section in. Well, the way I do mine is if you look, I've got these cut two different lengths. Now, I do that for a very good reason. And the reason is if you cut both of these wires in the same spot, you splice them in the exact same spot, what end up happening is when you put your butt connector on here and you put your butt connector on here you put your heat strap on here and your heat shrink on here then all of a sudden your cord starts to get really fat and thick right here so it makes the cord really it just makes it look goofy and the other reason that if you got a butt connector here and a butt connector here that means you've got an open wire here and an open wire here and there's a really good chance that those could wear through the tape and then those two butt connectors could touch and then you would have a direct arc and the third reason, which I think is the most important reason for doing it like this, is now you can see when I lay this wire up here and I lay this wire here, there's your connections. Now when I tape this up, I'll be taping it up. So now this will be taped to here. That means this end and this end will be taped to this. So now you've made this connection solid. You splinted it with this wire here. But then when you get to right here, the same thing happens. When you got this connection taped together, when you tape it to the side of this wire, this wire is acting like a splint also for that connection. So in actuality, now you've made this thing really, really strong versus having one weak point in one spot. Now you've got your weak points spread out and you've got them reinforced by another piece of wire. And I know you've seen it where you've spliced two wires together in the same spot. It'll be flimsy or you know it'll work and flex in that spot. By doing it this way, you don't really get a weak spot anywhere in that wire. Now you can do this with standard butt connectors, but what I always do is I use the, the kind that doesn't have the plastic on them. And the reason why is because I always solder my connections, uh, but because this wire here has got a little corrosion on it and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut it back and shine it up as best I can, put the butt connectors on it, and then after I put the butt connectors on it, I'm gonna go ahead and put solder in the seams before I put everything together. Now. One thing to always remember, put your shrink wrap on before you put your sections together. Put it on, get it out of the way. I mean, this is a really simple way to do it, but I promise you, if you do it this way, it takes a little bit more time, but by doing it this way, you've got a connection that's never gonna come loose. All right, let's get this thing started here. Like I say, go ahead and get them twisted up really, really good. Get the butt connector on it. Get the butt connector for the same wire. Get it in there, get it twisted. Try not to have any strands outside the butt connector. Even though I did get one strand outside of it. And usually if you turn that butt connector while you're putting it on, it'll prevent that from happening. And you clamp it down good and tight. Alright, now you've got a good, strong mechanical connection there. After I'm done with that part, I always like to sorter the connection and what you do is you just heat it up this is electrical sorter you can buy it at AutoZone or any one of those places you can get it at Home Depot also heat that coupling up 
that butt connector. You heat it up, see how it's starting to melt this? Then you just apply it to the wire. And you're going to notice it's drawing up inside the wire here. All right, take it off. Now what's happened is that sealed that up to where there's no way those connections are going to come out of there. And it also fills in all the voids to where if any moisture does get in there, it's not going to cause any corrosion inside that wire. Then after you get that part done, you just slide your heat shrink over the top of it as quickly as you can. Ooh, it's a little warm. Heat it. There you go. Solid connection. It's not going anywhere. I'll go ahead and tape that up, and when I get that all taped up, it'll be ready to roll. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that one done. And if you'll notice, when these are in, see there's no extra wire anywhere. There's no kink. So when I tape this up, it's gonna be nice and straight. One thing I didn't mention is, if you'll notice, I left that one wire to where it's about an eighth to a quarter of it sticking out past the butt connector right there. Well, the reason why I done that is, as you could see earlier, that way when I solder it, I got a place where I can actually touch the wire and not just the butt connector. Like I said, I want the heat to melt this, not the flame. And you can see I'm touching that wire and all that solder is being drawn into this butt connector. There we go. Turn that off. All right, and here's the last step before taping it up. Like I say, you've got that connection, that connection right here, and that connection right there. I'll put heat, a bigger piece of heat shrink over the whole thing. There you go. Perfect connection. Everything's sealed up. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. I hope you got something out of it. If you got anything out of it, feel free to leave questions or comments. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I appreciate you watching. I really do. Thank you.